What up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another album review and this one is to that Jeezy pressure and I'm giving this one the green light cause it's fire. Like honestly, I came into this album much like a Philadelphia Eagles fan probably came into the season. I was hoping that it would be a good album and all of that stuff man, like there was a bunch of stuff leading up to it that led me to believe that it could be good, but the fact that it could turn out to be top 5 album of the year? Wasn't really expecting that right there. But the main thing that I ultimately have learned through listening to this project right here, man, is the realities of life that it's only repetitive if it's bad. You feel me? Look at it like this, man. When the Warriors play the Cavs, doesn't matter what point of the season that is at, man, I can sit up and watch that all day because it's going to be excellent basketball. But yet, would I do the same for, say, Phoenix versus Atlanta during the regular season? Nah, because it's not going to be good basketball. It'll show you how ridiculously repetitive basketball actually is when you're sitting up and watching something that's not entertaining. Same thing for this album. Like, when it's super entertaining and making excellent songs, it doesn't matter if it's the same content over and over and over. I'm going with the quality music. Understand that Jeezy is like a creator player on 2K. You feel me? Like, you gave him 99 on slamming the ball. You didn't have enough points left over for a jump shot. You ain't have enough points left over for rebounds or anything like that. But if he's in the right element, in the right position with the ball in the paint, he's going to slam it down. That's exactly what we're getting with this album because when you see it, like you see when he tries to go away from the songs that he's really good at, which is that straight up trap talk where it's just talking about the lifestyle of a dope dealer and all of that man where he's talking about cars, jewels, and being the superstar from it. When he goes away from that, the songs rather struggle. Like, take the song Like Them, where this is his female fan base type song that he's consistently tried to do over the years, but yet it still have not panned out. And he went out and brought Rick Ross and brought in Tory Lanez to help him with this, and it still didn't quite pan out. And look at that song, American Dream, even though this was one of my favorite songs, I already made a review for it and all of that, man. But look at it in particular. Like, Jeezy is staying in his lane for his verse, in which that honestly makes it rather solid, but yet when you realize the whole concept of it and see how J. Cole is going in with it, it kind of made Jeezy's verse like stand out for the negative. And then look at that song, Pressure, where this is more of that trap rap right there, man, but a different variation of it. It's more of a deeper variation than being just happy with the success and the money and all of that stuff that you got. It's more looking at the individuals that you're dealing with or how the pressure of the game will make them fold and make them turn on you. So it's a much deeper turn to it than all of these other songs, man. And it doesn't quite pan out because that is not Jeezy's strip. But when you put Jeezy on these types of songs like Spider in a major way, that bottles up, which I've already did an individual review for because a lot goes into that. So you definitely want to peep out that review. And then that Valet interlude, even though it's just a brief one verse and all that, man, that joint is so dope. I wish they would have continued it and made it into a full song, but for what it is, it's a solid track, man. And then that Respect song. All of these songs have close to no meaning to them, but yet they got fire production. Jeezy is bringing that whole energy that he's been known for his entire career on top of him. He got solid hooks on him as well. He created some solid songs, and I will take those over anything that's not a solid song, but yet you got a whole lot of deep thought to it. Overall, a very solid project right here, man. One that I'm going to give 8.5 out of 10 with the potential of being a top 5 album of the year. One of those you must go out there and cop. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.